I'm here to be insulted. Oh, yeah? Where do you usually go? <laughs> I have half a mind to leave right now. Well, I do so hope you'll come back when you find the other half. <laughs> and when I do, I'll be sure to give you a piece of it. Do you realize, Lanny, we have to present ourselves in front of these lovely people for the next three days? Oh. Hello, lovely people, for the next three days. <laughs> Thank you, you're a disgrace. Well, well, well. Well, look, look, your hair's a mess, your shoes aren't shined, your shirt's not pressed. Why can't you put your best foot forward? Oh, please don't ask me to choose between my feet, Vince. They're my babies. <laughs> my tie's not even straight. Look at yours, it doesn't even clip on. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Whoops. Do you know why it doesn't clip on, Randy? Broken? No, it's not broken. I bothered to tie it with my own two hands. Very carefully. It took a very long time, and now I'm very upset. <laughs> you know what happens when I'm very upset? Oh! Oh, oh Vince, no, come on, come on, come on. Hey, please, 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 please don't hurt me, Vince. I've, I've had a terrible day already. All sorts of bad things have happened. I don't want to be hurt again. Oh, you've been hurt already, have you? Yeah, I've been hurt real bad. And what happened, pray tell? You want me to pray, you want me to tell? I think I'm going to pray. <laughs> be Mark.
When somebody came up, pick him up, give him a job, give him a job, give him a little bit of an education, give him a little, teach him a little bit about conversation, validation, vindication. Give this man something to live for, something to live for. Give him a hug, sanctify, mollify, rectify, give him a hug. Tell him there is absolutely no future in being idealistic, solipsistic, palimpsestic, wearing too much lipstick, a little bit too much slapstick, too much stick, too much stick, too much slap, too much slap. I don't know this man. Go on, give him a job, send him to Sandhurst, teach him to be the model of a very modern major general, teach him all the equations, both the simple and quadratical. Really enjoy the show. Back on action. <laughs> So, is everyone enjoying the show so far? Well, that's good, right? Because it's all downhill from here. What about you, sir? Are you having a good time? I see you brought your daughter. Oh, Vince, look at the size of those diamonds. Vince, best friend. How about you, miss? You having fun? Who died? <laughs> Here we go. One, two, and one, two, three. Everywhere I go, people are playing. They for everything. I gave you? Only the parts where I had to turn. Sorry. Price of seclusion.
Hey! Please, I can explain! You've broken the law, Bob. You're fucking trapped. There's an armor. Right You broke the law, Bonnie. You're fucking trout. You assumed that a, you assumed another person's identity to get information from a business competitor. Obviously, I, I lied about who I was. I'm sorry. Okay, it was a it was a huge untruth. It wasn't planned. I was just freaked out about suddenly being on the plane with you, having read your memoirs, having tried to get you involved in my book and been rejected. Once I was in the lie, I I couldn't get out. <clears throat> 87, take 10, pick up, mark. Set. Action! You could have left me a note or called I me. did leave you a note. Where? Look, I, I don't know why we're talking about this. I, I don't like you. I wish we'd never met. You put one over on me. You, you probably laughed at me. Now, nobody is supposed to laugh at me until I cause them to do so. You had just read my manuscript a few days earlier, something that almost nobody on earth has seen. You didn't think that maybe you should have mentioned that to me when we met, or at the very least, be before we fucked? Hello, Vince. What the fuck is going on? Vince, a few days after we first met, I found myself n n next to Lanny on a flight to New York. It was a complete coincidence. He asked my name. Did she lie? I had just finished reading the first chapter of Lanny's own biography. His lawyers had let me see it in the hope of discouraging our own project. As a reflex, since I knew he would view me as the enemy, I gave him, I gave him the name of a friend of mine whose apartment I was going to stay at in Manhattan. I thought I simply had to get through the awkwardness of the flight itself. But the trouble is... You slept with him. Vince... You slept my ex-partner. Technically. 